When you think about dinosaurs, you probably picture these massive, powerful creatures ruling the ancient Earth. But even the mightiest dinosaurs met some pretty horrific ends. I've been digging into the fossil record and let me tell you, a thousand ways to die? For dinosaurs, that's just scratching the surface. The fossil record gives us these incredible snapshots of dinosaur deaths that are both fascinating and absolutely brutal. Technology and careful research have allowed paleontologists to piece together some truly gruesome final moments that these ancient creatures experienced. And while we often have to make educated guesses about what happened to them, sometimes we get lucky, well, unlucky for the dinosaur, and find incredible evidence of exactly how they died. Let's start with one of the most violent dinosaur deaths ever discovered, the dueling dinosaurs from Montana. This incredible fossil shows a Triceratops and a Tyrannosaurus rex that apparently died while locked in combat about 67 million years ago. The T-Rex's teeth were found embedded in the Triceratops' neck, while the Triceratops' horn had punctured the T-Rex's chest. Talk about going down fighting! Both dinosaurs likely died from their wounds, their bodies eventually covered by sediment that preserved this prehistoric battle forever. What makes this find so remarkable is that it captures the moment of death. Not just any death, but one that shows direct predator-prey interaction. The injuries are clear and fatal, with the T-Rex suffering broken ribs and internal damage from the Triceratops' horn, while the Triceratops had its neck torn open. Paleontologists believe both dinosaurs died almost immediately after inflicting these wounds on each other, creating what might be the most dramatic fossil death scene ever found. But not all dinosaur deaths were quick battles. Some were slow, painful affairs. Take the case of Leonardo, a juvenile Brachylophosaurus found in Montana. This mummified dinosaur is one of the most well-preserved specimens ever discovered, with skin, scales, and even the remains of its last meal still intact. But what's truly disturbing is the evidence that Leonardo suffered from a parasitic infection before death. The poor creature's body shows signs of multiple parasites that were slowly killing it from the inside, causing malnutrition and weakness despite being in an environment with plenty of food. Leonardo likely collapsed near a water source, too weak to continue, and was quickly buried by sediment that protected its body from scavengers and decay. The preservation is so good that scientists could actually see the parasites still inside its digestive system. Imagine slowly wasting away while these organisms feed on you from the inside. Definitely not a pleasant way to go, even for a dinosaur. Sometimes, though, it wasn't predators or parasites, but the environment itself that dealt the fatal blow. The most famous mass dinosaur death site has to be the Dragon's Tomb in the Gobi Desert of Mongolia. Here, paleontologists found the remains of several Protoceratops dinosaurs buried in what appears to be a collapsed sand dune. The evidence suggests these dinosaurs were caught in a massive sandstorm or dune collapse, essentially buried alive while struggling to escape. What makes this particularly brutal is that some of the specimens show signs of having tried to keep their heads above the sand, their necks extended upward in a final attempt to breathe. Others were found with their limbs in positions suggesting they were actively trying to climb out when they died. Imagine the terror of feeling the sand closing in around you, making each breath harder than the last until you're completely entombed. The fossils tell us these dinosaurs didn't die instantly, but struggled until their final moments. Water could be just as deadly as sand. In Utah, the Cleveland Lloyd Dinosaur Quarry contains the remains of over 70 Allosaurus dinosaurs, many of which appear to have died in a prehistoric death trap. The current theory is that this area was once a sticky mud pit that trapped dinosaurs who ventured in, perhaps looking for water during a drought. Once stuck, these predators would have slowly sunk deeper, unable to escape. What's particularly brutal about this scenario is that the trapped dinosaurs likely attracted other predators, who then became trapped themselves, creating a vicious cycle of death. Imagine being stuck in mud, slowly sinking, while watching other predators approach either to help themselves to an easy meal, you, or only to become trapped alongside you. The fossils show evidence of dinosaurs in various stages of sinking, some with just their legs buried, others almost completely submerged when they finally died. Speaking of water deaths, one of the most well-preserved dinosaur specimens ever found gives us a glimpse into another horrific way to die, drowning followed by being crushed under immense pressure. Dakota, a Edmontosaurus found in North Dakota was so well preserved that scientists could still see its skin and muscles. The evidence suggests this dinosaur drowned in a river and was then quickly buried under sediment that compressed its body with such force that the outline of its skin and soft tissues were essentially turned into a natural mold. The position of Dakota's body, with its limbs splayed out and neck arched backward, suggests a violent death struggle as it fought to keep its head above water. 
the rapid burial that followed preserved even the pattern of its scales and the shape of its muscles. Drowning is already a terrible way to go, but imagine the added horror of feeling tons of sediment pressing down on your body after you've taken your last desperate breath. Not all dinosaur deaths were so dramatic. Some were downright bizarre. Take the case of the fighting dinosaurs found in Mongolia. This fossil shows a velociraptor and a protoceratops locked in combat, both apparently killed instantly when a sand dune collapsed on them. The velociraptor's sickle claw is embedded in the protoceratops' neck, while the protoceratops has the velociraptor's arm clamped in its beak. It's like a prehistoric version of mutual destruction, with both combatants frozen in the moment of attack. What makes this death particularly strange is the perfect timing of it all. These dinosaurs were in the middle of a life-or-death struggle when nature decided neither would win. The sand buried them so quickly that they couldn't even react to this new threat. One moment they're fighting for survival against each other, the next they're being buried alive together, forever locked in combat. Disease could also claim dinosaur lives in particularly brutal ways. A Tyrannosaurus rex named Sue shows evidence of multiple health issues that would have made its final years incredibly painful. The fossil has signs of gout, parasites, and most notably, a severe infection that left holes in its jaw. This infection, similar to a condition called trichomonosis in modern birds, would have made it increasingly difficult for Sue to eat, leading to a slow death by starvation. Imagine being one of the most fearsome predators to ever walk the earth, yet unable to use your massive jaws because of crippling pain. Sue likely became weaker over time, struggling to hunt and eventually unable to feed itself at all. For a predator built for power and speed, this slow decline would have been a particularly cruel fate. Sometimes, though, death came from the sky. Not just for the dinosaurs as a whole with the famous asteroid impact, but for individual dinosaurs caught in smaller natural disasters. In China's Liaoning province, paleontologists discovered dinosaurs that appear to have been killed instantly by volcanic ash falls. The fossils show dinosaurs in natural positions, not contorted in death poses, suggesting they were overcome so quickly they didn't even have time to react. The volcanic material preserved these dinosaurs in incredible detail, including their feathers and soft tissues. But what a way to go. One minute you're going about your dinosaur business, the next you're being smothered by toxic volcanic ash, unable to breathe as the searing hot material covers your body. Perhaps the most brutal dinosaur death ever discovered belongs to a baryonyx from England. This fish-eating dinosaur appears to have died after a fishing expedition went horribly wrong. The fossil was found with fish scales and bones in what would have been its stomach area, but also with evidence of a massive injury to its chest and neck. The current theory is that this dinosaur was fishing in shallow water when it was attacked by a larger marine reptile, possibly a pliosaur. The injuries suggest the baryonyx was grabbed around the neck and chest, pulled into deeper water, and drowned while being torn apart. Fish bones in its stomach indicate it had just eaten, so it was likely distracted when the attack came. Talk about a bad day. You're enjoying a nice fish dinner when suddenly you become dinner yourself. Of course, we can't discuss brutal dinosaur deaths without mentioning the ultimate dinosaur killer, the Chicxulub asteroid impact that wiped out all non-avian dinosaurs 66 million years ago. Recent discoveries have given us an increasingly detailed picture of just how horrific this extinction event was. Fossils from a site in North Dakota show dinosaurs, fish, and other animals that appear to have died on the actual day of the impact. The evidence suggests they were killed by a massive wave of glass beads, superheated steam, and debris that rained down from the sky after the asteroid hit. Some fossils show small glass spherules embedded in their gills or lungs, suggesting they literally breathed in red-hot glass before dying. For the dinosaurs that weren't killed in the initial impact or the immediate aftermath, death would have come more slowly, as the world around them changed dramatically. Global wildfires, acid rain, and a sun-blocking dust cloud would have killed off plants, leading to the collapse of food chains worldwide. Even the largest, most powerful dinosaurs would have slowly starved as their food sources disappeared. Looking at all these brutal dinosaur deaths, it's clear that life in the Mesozoic era was incredibly harsh. Whether being torn apart by predators, slowly succumbing to disease and parasites, or being buried alive in sand or mud, dinosaurs faced countless painful ways to die. And while we might romanticize these incredible creatures, the fossil record reminds us that their lives often ended in ways that were anything but glamorous. The next time you see a dinosaur skeleton posed majestically in a museum, take a moment to consider how that animal might have met its end. Behind those impressive bones often lies a story of struggle, pain, and a brutal reminder that even the mightiest creatures are at the mercy of nature's cruelty. In the grand scheme of things, maybe we should be grateful that our modern world, for all its problems, 
spares us from at least some of these prehistoric horrors.